So here I am in uh, downtown Toronto. It's uh, the first time I've been down here in about four or five months. I'm, uh, I've got my, uh, my pandemic wear on. I'd say it's, it's kind of interesting. There's, I'd say we've got a good 60 to 80% of people that are, that are wearing masks all the time. And, uh, you know, that's kind of heartening because, you know, if this is going to be the reality that we're, we're dealing with, then we have to adjust our lives until we've got this thing under control. So my sort of uh, co-vlogging that started a few months ago with a bit of disbelief and anger is kind of turning into a little bit of uh, hopefulness and, uh, and resiliency around what we need to do to uh, at least uh, get through this, uh, this, this point in time that's a bridge into a healthy world again. Hopefully, some point in, uh, in the fall, we're gonna find some vaccines uh, that are available, help the vulnerable, start the big rollout programs by Q1. 2021 we'll uh, we'll have something in place that's uh, gonna be a little better for society so uh, I might hit the streets a little bit more and do a little bit more blogging so interesting times uh, interesting futures uh, the future is what we make it and right now I think Canada is making the most of what its, it's future is gonna be uh, I think down in the States there's a lot of people that are trying to really make it a very hard future for themselves so take care of yourselves out there and I'll speak to you after the summer break.